I'm pleased to share this devotional with you on March the 15th. And I want to read some words uh, that Jesus said many years ago in John chapter 7, verses 37 and 38. Here we read, On the last day, the great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If any man is thirsty, let him come to me and drink. He who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. What's this verse talking about? If somebody is thirsty, meaning spiritually thirsty here, Jesus is talking about, let him come to me and drink. Come to Jesus and he is the one who dispenses living water. Then verse 38, he who believes in me, as the scripture said, from his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Now it's an interesting contrast. The person who uh, is thirsty you know, for a little drink, or it might seem like a very large gulp to that person, that one is to come to Jesus for uh, water or for sustenance in some way. But if that person comes to Jesus, what then happens? It is rivers of living water flowing from the innermost being. A little bit of thirst for water leads to rivers of water. Now, I've been thirsty. I'm sure you've been thirsty, too, over the years. And you, you're parched after a run. You're parched after being outside and working. Or maybe it's just been a hot day and you've been uh, out in the sun, a uh, hot summer day. Not like today, but a uh, hot summer day. And you just are hunkering to get uh, something to drink. Never once have I thought about, well, getting uh, something to drink. What I need is a river of living water. But that's what Jesus promises. If we come to him for a drink, what will happen is rivers of, in, of living water will flow from the innermost being. What a great uh, uh, analogy this is for us. And something to think about. Um, uh, if we're thirsting and hungering, come to Jesus. He'll give us far more than what we could ask or what it is that we could think. Now, this devotional is uh, taking place just uh, after we've uh, initiated a, or we have uh, administered a 1,100 or so person vaccination uh, clinic uh, at the church. This being for those in the A1 uh, category, uh, some within, within our church, but then also in the community too. And we're very fortunate uh, through uh, the generosity of a local pharmacy, as well as some other connections we've had in the community to be able to host this uh, clinic. And I hope you were encouraged, uh, as I was, to see uh, the numerous people that were coming into the life of the church. They needed something. And it was great for us to provide something that gives life. For the church is always about giving life, uh, whether it be uh, physical, but also spiritual life. And I hope that you will join me in praying uh, today also for the community, that the community that which we are in would see the need to come to Jesus for a drink and that they too would experience rivers of living water from within them. So I don't know how you're feeling today personally, whether you're in need of a drink. I encourage you to come to Jesus and find eventually rivers of living water coming from you. But I also ask that uh, as we uh, will have a time of prayer shortly, that we will pray for the community, that some will come to us for a drink and that they too might find rivers of living water. Will you join me now with a word of prayer? Our Father, we thank you for this day that you've given to us. Uh, we thank you that uh, you are the great uh, giver of life. And we pray that uh, no matter what need we feel today, that uh, we would come to you and find, uh, indeed, that uh, your Son and his word uh, uh, satisfies us uh, as true uh, spiritual drink. And Lord, uh, uh, please uh, well up within our souls uh, these rivers of living water. And we pray for this for the community today, Lord, that is uh, searching in so many different places, looking for so many different things. We pray that they would find life in you and in your name. 
We pray this today in Christ's name. Amen. May God bless you today.